so let's uh, uh, discuss about what is the course content and then after that we'll follow the course content and we'll discuss about uh, history of sql server versions and editions and responsibility of database administrator so like uh, in the first topic is warrior of sql server so in this topic we will discuss about uh, history of sql server versions and editions responsibility of database administrator and db operations Overview of SQL Server services, software lifecycle, licensing part, and uh, interview question answers. Like each and every topic has a separate uh, uh, session for interview question answers. So this is mainly using for uh, clearing the interview. And uh, the next uh, topic is installation and configuration. Like in this part, in this topic, we will learn about uh, pre-installation steps, installation, post-installation, and uninstalling or adding new features to the SQL Server and installation related errors and troubleshooting and as well as interview question answers so the next uh, course topic is patching and service pack installations like uh, what are the different product updates we have for sql server and uh, again how to install and like pre-installation steps installation post installation and uh, removing the service pack and patching errors or troubleshooting so that's the our uh, third topic and then the ne next topic is that warrior wow, of databases so in this topic we'll understand the internal of sql server like how sql server internally working that means server architecture database architecture and uh, log architecture warrior wow, for system databases and interview question and answers the next one is the backup and restoration like we will discuss about uh, all type of backups so we in sql server we have eight different type of backups and we'll discuss about all the backup types and performing backup and restoration, recovery models, recovery methods, and page level restore, uh, and database movement methods, how we can move the data from one server to another server, mm -hmm. like entire database or specific objects, like tables or we use stored processor, and the database file movement, linked servers. So internal connection communication, we can use the linked servers. Again, we'll, con we'll discuss about the linked server, and uh, as well as interview question and answers. The next one is that security. Like in the security topic, we will learn about how to create users, how to grant access, what are the different levels of permissions we have in SQL Server, and the security auditing, and the revoking permissions, and again, uh, troubleshooting, connectivity related troubleshooting things also we'll discuss in the security topic. The next one is that migration and upgradation of the databases. How we can migrate from lower version to higher versions, or maybe one environment to another environment. And again, in this uh, topic, we'll also discuss about edition upgrades. So again, we have a different editions that we'll cover after completing this, uh, this topic. So again, we will also discuss about uh, edition upgrades. And uh, moving to the next one, next topic is that automation. So in this topic, we will learn about how to uh, create maintenance jobs, like how to create the alerts for monitoring the servers or databases. And we can uh, make some operations in the automated way like regular activities using the jobs and the maintenance plans and database mail uh, configuration this functionality we are using uh, for receiving the information from the sql servers including interview question and answers the next important topic is that disaster recovery and availability so in sql server we have a five different uh, solutions or technologies we can call it for using the availability and disaster recovery so again, so we'll understand, so we have a one session for what exactly the difference between disaster recovery and liability, then we'll discuss about all liability and disaster recovery con uh, concepts. Okay, again, end-to-end -end, uh, things we'll discuss, like configuration, about your configuration, hard feature, and then disaster recovery testing, DB refresh, patching on the uh, disaster recovery and liability configured databases, and uh, issues and interview question answers. So the disaster recovery and liability solutions are log flipping, database mirroring, replication, and uh, clustering, and always run. So these are the five uh, solutions we have for uh, availability and disaster recovery solution in SQL Server. And the next one is that uh, uh, troubleshooting point. Like uh, in this topic, we'll discuss about what is the general troubleshooting, what are the per what are, what is performance tuning and how to analyze the performance tuning and how to resolve, how to identify and what, how we can give the best practices to uh, reduce the performance related things. So those things we'll discuss in performance tuning topic.
and uh, the next one is that uh, new discussing about uh, discuss about uh, new features like we have uh, new versions mainly 2017 and 2019 these are the new versions for sql server again <coughs> features uh, on these servers on these versions and then uh, real time scenarios and issues like uh, what are the common issues we encounter in the real time and then what how to resolve those kind of problems that uh, we'll discuss in real time scenarios and issues and we have a, a dba course test scenarios so very useful to get the hands on experience on all the topics and ticketing process the ticketing process mainly will discuss about how we receive the instance how I mean what are the different type of work levels we have how we are receiving the um, like we we have we have to follow the itl process like we have instant management problem management chain management uh, so these things also will discuss as part of the tool uh, ticketing process and the next one is the tools so in the tools like uh, for some operations in real time we need to depend on the third party tools like uh, especially for monitoring the servers or ticketing process as i said the title process and uh, taking the backup and restoration so so many organizations nowadays everyone prefer to use the third party tools rather than choosing the internal thing again we'll also discuss about a few third party tools related to ticketing tools related to backup and monitoring and then final topic is that security features nowadays everybody is thinking about worrying about the security protecting the data their data so microsoft recently introduced the td and always encryption td is available from 2010 but always an encryption is available from sql server 2016 again these features are very very important so